Coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. 2014 has been a steady year for the hantavirus in Saskatchewan, with four cases reported, including two recent deaths. According to stats from the Life Saving Society, approximately 20 accidental drownings occur each year in Saskatchewan. As we all strive to get the most out of the summer enjoying long days at the beach, safety often is last on the list of things we remember while out on the water. The Newcomer Welcome Center in Swift Current is the go-to destination when immigrants move to southwest Saskatchewan. And since it started in 2007, the center has helped over 1,000 registered clients. The Swift Current Indians are off to the WMBL Finals after defeating the Regina Red Sox. Thanks for joining us here today. The hantavirus continues to be a health concern across the province, with a second death recently reported. We have more in today's top story. 2014 has been a steady year for the hantavirus in Saskatchewan, with four cases reported, including two recent deaths. The source for the virus stems from deer mice and the inhalation of contaminated airborne particles from their fecal droppings, urine or saliva. And as another harvest season approaches, you're reminded to protect yourself from the hantavirus when planning to clean out any grain bins. First and foremost, most important is to aerate the place. So if it's a closed off shed, uh, you know, get it open first uh, before you go inside. And of course, when going inside uh, or when cleaning up, uh, wear the appropriate uh, gloves and uh, masks. The, the masks are very key and pretty much all hardware stores now know which masks are safe for uh, preventing uh, inhalation of this virus. The other thing is to avoid as much as possible using the dry types of cleaning methods because that those uh, like sweeping, uh, dry sweeping will raise the dusts and increase the amount of circulation of potentially contaminated dusts which one could inhale. Um, so wet cleaning is the way to go, um, really wetting surfaces, using bleach for that. The same precautions should be taken when cleaning out cabins or garages, as deer mice droppings can be found in numerous locations. Symptoms of the hantavirus include fever, muscle aches, cough, headaches, nausea, and vomiting, followed by shortness of breath and respiratory failure. And if you suffer from any of these symptoms, you're advised to see your doctor immediately. Hantavirus pulmonary syndrome is a rare but usually severe disease that can lead to death. 30 cases of the hantavirus pulmonary syndrome have been reported in Saskatchewan since 1994, 10 of which resulted in death. <music> Southwest TV News is hitting the road with our annual Summer Around the Southwest Tour covering a variety of exciting events across the region. The Southwest TV News Summer Around the Southwest Tour is proudly brought to you by Innovation Credit Union. Imagine the possibilities. Summer holidays are in full swing for many, and before you head out on the water, you're reminded to take a few safety precautions. As we all strive to get the most out of the summer enjoying long days at the beach, safety often is last on the list of things we remember while out on the water. A simple step, which can go a long way in ensuring everyone has a safe summer. It's really important that people are just aware of their surroundings, knowing where the hazards are, knowing where deep water is, where it's rocky. Um, knowing where their kids are at all times as well. So if there's water in an area, like even if you're at a farm visiting, if they have a dugout in their, on their farm, being aware of that. Um, or at the lake, knowing, knowing where the kids are. Rushton adds that life jackets play an important role in your water activities. And whether you're an adult or child, you should be wearing one. Three quarters of drowning fatalities that we see happening do, uh, the victims haven't been found wearing a life jacket or a PFD, and that continues to happen. 
And so it's really important to, to bring that message home that people need to wear their PF Deer Life jacket, even if you're a strong swimmer. If your boat is about to be overturned, you don't have time to put it on. It's just like trying to put your, your seatbelt on in the middle of the car accident. It's not going to work. According to stats from the Life Saving Society, approximately 20 accidental drownings occur each year in Saskatchewan, compared to 400 nationally. Another exciting season of Market Square returns to downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Market Square, every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Presented by Standard Motors, in partnership with Innovation Credit Union and Southwest TV News. The Newcomer Welcome Centre continues to offer its services to immigrants across the Southwest and is now a registered charity. The Newcomer Welcome Centre in Swift Current is the go-to destination when immigrants move to Southwest Saskatchewan. And since it started in 2007, the centre has helped over 1,000 registered clients. And following its success as one of 11 gateways for newcomers in Saskatchewan, it has now achieved a charitable status. We've been receiving funding from the province and from uh, the federal, but usually for very particular projects. For example, the rent of this building, the salaries of workers, and there are other other projects or events that we would like to do, like, for example, multicultural celebrations or summer programs for, for the youth for which we don't have funding for. So we reach out to community members, um, businesses who would be willing to give donations, and having this charitable status helps us promote it or you know, get funding because we would then be able to give charitable receipts. And from the show of support from members of the community who attended the recent launch of the charity status for the center, the Newcomer Welcome Center plays an integral role locally. Well, anybody that looks around Swift Current sees the change in face of Swift Current. We have a lot of people, immigrant people, now moving to Swift Current and our area around here. So having the Newcomer Welcome Center here, I think, has made that transition from where they came from to where they're now living an awful lot easier for them. They can get a lot of information down here, uh, be it banking, uh, be it education system, be it health, whatever. And uh, having the Newcomer Welcome Center is really really helped in that aspect. The Newcomer Welcome Center is located in downtown Swift Current and serves clientele across southwest Saskatchewan. The Swift Current Indians had a successful run on the ball field against the Regina Red Sox. We bring you more in this report. It was an electric evening at Mitchell Field Saturday night as the Indians took on the Regina Red Sox with the Red Sox facing elimination in the WNBL semifinals. The crowd held their breath in the first inning as Regina quickly jumped out to an early 1-0 lead. The Indians rallied back in the fourth, scoring three to make the score 3-1. After tying it up in the eighth, Regina was in prime scoring position with the bases loaded in two outs. After a walk put Eric Sams on base in the ninth inning, Hunter Owen hit an RBI to bring him in, wrapping up the series in three games. Coach Joe Carnahan is happy with a hard-fought series win and is looking forward to a shot at the WMBL championship. All three of these games, you know, the scores have been a little wacky, you know, but all three of these games have been back and forth. I mean, it shoot the way this series was, it could have went 3-0 the other way. You know, we, did, we were just fortunate and, uh, you know, we had, had a couple things go our way and, and uh, ended up coming out on top. Uh, these guys worked hard, played hard the entire season, and now we now the, our goal is in striking distance. Game one of the WNBL Finals will be in Swift Current at Mitchell Field this Wednesday, August 13th. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. 
Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.